Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to do diff and merge using a tool called meld in git. And here is the list of items for this tutorial. Let's first begin by installing meld. For this, uh, just type in download meld in Google and click on this first link meldmerge.org is the website here click the link for the download so I have Windows and I'm going to install it using a mail installer uh, here click on download button and it will begin the download okay so it's downloading the file here okay my download is over and I have this file here so just double click here to run the installation just click on next next neck and install it my installation is complete and you can see that it put the installation into this C program files mail directory okay so this is where I have this program installed now what I'm going to do is show you the git repository that I have here I have this C code hungry repository where I have hungry.py file and if you look at that file this is how the file looks and on github the files looks like this so basically I have added these two new commits to the file if you compare these two you will see these two are the extra lines that I have added and if I do git log you will see those two lines were added through this commit now let's see how to run git diff tool command to see the difference so first we are going to see the difference between this upstream which is github and our local repository in order to do that you have to run git diff tool origin master origin master here means github when you do that here it is saying that launch vm diff so we installed meld but we have not configured meld yet that's why it is using some default tool that comes with git installation if you do yes then it will show you the difference like this now vim diff looks like a ui from 80s it looks like dos okay it shows you the difference that this is the new file you added these two lines but it's not doesn't look very nice doesn't look modern basically okay and that's the whole reason why we we want to use meld so in order to use meld first you need to configure it now to configure it you need to go to c users your directory so i am learn p user and here you will find a git config file if you open git config file you have only this thing okay now you need to add a couple of lines here so i'm just going to copy paste it from here so you need to add these three lines in order to configure meld first line says that for diff you are using a tool called meld now what does meld mean so meld means go to this path and fetch the exe we previously I saw that this is the directory where mail was installed so you want to supply the same directory name okay and the third one is diff tool prompt false meaning don't give me this kind of prompt whenever I say get diff tool always launch mail so let's try this out now when I do this it's gonna launch mail and mail is a nice looking UI where you see a code on the left side this is your upstream and this is your local code okay uh, so now here there is an extra line okay so it looks like there is some problem let me do git pull real quick to pull whatever changes I have up on upstream and it's gonna merge and when I do git diff tool now I'll be seeing the correct diff okay so the correct diff as you can see here I don't have those two lines versus in my local file I have these two lines so so let me just add in my windows so that you can see the difference clearly okay so 
this is what I have on upstream so see this is what I have on upstream so on the left side this is github code this is my local code where you can see these extra two lines okay so this is how you see the difference between your local and upstream now if you make any further change and let's say you did not commit it then there is a way to see that change as well so for example here now i am adding a new line called and hungry equal to yo let's say i add this line okay and then when i do git status i see this file is changed now i can just simply run git diff tool git diff tool will show the change between your uncommitted changes and your head so your head doesn't have this and your local changes has that okay so that's why it is showing uh, okay now let's say if you you have multiple diff tool installs and you want to launch a specific tool for example vim diff some people like vim diff even though it is old then to launch that you can always use minus t option and give the name of the tool minus t means tool vim diff so use vim diff for this one and it will launch vim diff you can also use meld so mad so this way by giving minus t option you can launch different tools okay now we are going to look into how to resolve conflicts or how to merge conflicts okay so now uh, let me make some changes locally so locally i have this chain all right and i'm going to commit this chain so let me just commit this change and I will say added yo okay so this is what I have locally now someone else can go to this repository and they can make a change so let's say they added y okay and I will just say added y now what happened is my local repository and my upstream got out of sync here i have this stuff but locally i have hungry equal to yo so they are at the same location but they are different code changes now when i do git pull so before pushing the changes you always want to do git pull so that you can always get the latest copy from the upstream when i do that it is telling me now that there is a merge conflict you see here merge conflict because we both made a change at the same same location okay and if you open your file now it looks really messy you'll be worried what happened to your file so what this is saying is your head has this head means your local change but your upstream has this now obviously you can manually edit this and you can let's say choose which chain you want to keep let's say you want to keep upstream change which is this then you can just remove these lines and manually edit it but it's not very convenient if you have so many changes so for that you need to run merge tool now before you run merge tool you have to again configure your merge tool in your git config file and to configure your merge tool you need to add these three lines okay here it is saying that for merge use this tool called meld and again the, for the meld we have specified the path so that git knows from where to launch that tool and also there is an option to not keep backup files if you keep backup files it's gonna create so many new files in your code repository and it's gonna confuse you so I recommend you add this option all right once you have added this option in your git config now I'm going to launch git merge tool so just run git merge tool command so remember you are in a merging stage here and at that point you are running git merge tool 
okay so in the middle you are seeing your local file which is here see c code hungry hungry dot py on the left you have your local changes like before it showed these merge conflicts these were your changes and these were changes from the upstream now you can decide which chain chain you want to keep so for example let's say I like the upstream chain and I want to keep it so you can click on this little arrow here okay once you do that what it's gonna do is it's gonna remove everything else and keep this one and if you didn't like that all right so let me just close it and cancel it okay close it and say close without saving and uh, again launch the same command basically let's say I wanted to keep my chain instead of upstream chain in that case you would have clicked this arrow and it will keep your chain okay so I can do undo so you can do undo and uh, do undo and then you can go to next chain if you have so many changes you can use these arrows you can use this save option there are many useful options in this area okay I decided to use my upstream chain so I'm going to click on this arrow okay and hit save and hit cancel okay at this point I have some local changes so I can just say git commit minus m merged complex so I just successfully merged complex okay at this stage now my repository status is clear now it is master from merging and I can now push my commit so when I do push it's gonna update the upstream and upstream now has both of these changes plus it has this uh, new okay so that was all about how to use uh, mad for diffing the changes and also for merging the changes I have used mad uh, for quite some time it is very very user friendly so i would recommend you to use the same tool all right thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial